Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover. One from the ongoing conversation on who takes Lil Wayne in a versus. And Ghetto Mafia's Wicked recently shared his thoughts on Lil Wayne's recent claims about a versus battle. Today we also have more from 50 Cent who got dissed by Nick Cannon a few hours ago. And 50 Cent's recent posts have led many to believe that he's got plans on Nick Cannon. And 50 also teased that he can't wait to knock someone out. And today we'll start with one that shows more proof of the decline in the hip-hop genre in 2023. And if you recall, we already covered a report that showed that for the first time since 98, we haven't had a number one hip-hop album, and today we have another one. Check this out. No hip-hop album or single reached number one on Billboard this year so far, the longest in a calendar year, without a rap album at number one this century since 1993. Now, some heavy hitters from the new generation have dropped projects this year. Act like NBA Youngboy, Lil Durk, and even Metro booming with the Spider-Man soundtrack this week, but still no number ones for hip-hop. But as we speak, the number one album in the United States is a K-pop album by Stray Kids, which makes it two for K-pop in 2023 so far. And in response to this report, I found some interesting reactions. Y'all shocked like MFers are making good music? Facepalm emoji. This is actually a win considering that mainstream hip-hop is full of cock rappers, trappers, or whatever y'all call these clowns. Facepalm emoji. Emoji. This calls for a celebration. What? Fire emoji. While others believe it's because pop was catching up to hip hop on streaming services, but pop music has started to completely dominate again. But what do you guys think? Since many rap fans are calling for acts like Drake, Ye, Travis, Eminem to drop to change this. Moving on to the next point today, after Nick Cannon put 50 Cent on blast recently, 50 Cent shared a couple of posts on IG that some believe are aimed at Nick Cannon. When he first shared this, it is never luck it's always God with the caption if your marketing campaign is to say something about 50 you're not gonna make it have a nice day globe emoji final lap tour and after this post 50 shared a clip of Ali to send a message with the caption I can't wait till I see you Ali was the truth eyes emoji you know you don't effed up right and while some are asking who is 50 talking to officer Ricky or Floyd thinking and laughing emoji some are convinced 50 cent is going at Nick Cannon Nick Cannon should have kept his mouth closed lol another user expanded gonna knock out nick cannon but some disagree why y'all always in this man's comments zooming ish laughing emoji 50 don't do subs so this post is nothing more than showing ali love but going off the captions this is not the case hence this you can't read fifth's own comment you must have liniment in your damn eyes you blind laughing emoji save your thoughts for the comment section Moving on to the next point today, since Lil Wayne recently revealed that no one stands a chance against him in a versus battle. It was brought up to Ghetto Mafia's Wicked in an interview on Behind ATL, and according to Wicked, when it comes to giving Lil Wayne a run for his money, there's a few who could handle Wayne, and I quote, M could go toe to toe with him, J could go toe to toe with him, March is your hating Lil partner coming here talking about you know, I be hating on New York, I do respect you know the legends you know, I was a huge fan of Doggy Fresh and Eric B and Rakim, and LL, you know how I feel about LL, that's another guy, LL can go at anybody. And he added Nas and Snoop to the list and added, Snoop, he will have a hard time dealing with Snoop Doggy Dog, but what he said, it is very few, his own partner, Drake, you know, record for record, and he dropped a recap. I say M, Snoop, Kanye, Drake, Nas, LL. And their reactions are all over the place. Some believe. I don't think any of those rappers y'all name can beat Wayne in a versus. Wayne just got too many legendary songs and features. And he is one of the very few rappers who has fan bases in multiple generations. And we got the usual from those who are ignorant about Eminem. I wish people would stop with the overrating of Eminem. Lyrically, Eminem is a beast at the most base level of being able to put words together. But be honest, dudes don't relate to that ish. <laughs> M was making rap for his bass, and I ain't mad at that, but ain't nobody trying to hear my name is in a versus with Wayne. Stop the madness, lol. You know, they don't know what they are talking about when the first song they mention is My Name Is. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more, and see you on the next one.